Van Dyke is out, even for four or five months, let alone seven or eight months. Seven or eight months is practically the season that he's going to be missing. If, if you lose Mane, you've still got Salah and Firmino of the highest level of attackers, and you've got the Jotters to come in. If you lose Thiago, if you lose Henderson, you've still got Gini, Fabino, and, and other top-level central midfielders to come in and play. When you, when you, when you lose Van Dijk, there's nobody else in your squad in a central defensive position who is even on the same planet as Virgil van Dijk. The difference mm. in the overall quality of that area of the pitch, van Dijk's irreplaceable. He's actually, you can't even go into the transfer market and get as yeah. good as or better than van Dijk. So losing him, yeah, true. it's like losing Cristiano Ronaldo or losing Lionel Messi or losing Lewandowski you know, or, or you know, or, or, or someone of that ilk. When you're losing people that are the creme de la creme, you can't, you literally cannot replace these people at all. And I feel genuinely sorry um, for Liverpool fans on a on a personal level, like not a personal, like, like a football level. I feel sorry for them on a rival fan level. <laughs> I don't yeah. care, bruv. I don't care. Yo, I've just seen. Um, the full clip of what happened with Aguero and now I look at it now and he's a bit mad. So he's basically, he's trying to argue for the ball being uh, going out in their favour and she's like, nah, nah, nah. He, he confronts her and then when he's walking off, yeah, he, he grabs her by the shoulder. I think that's very mad uh, now that I've seen it all. Like, you ain't doing that to a the man. The point Sophie, um, Sophie Richo says here is... Um... It is, it is wrong, in my opinion. Would he have done that to a man? Great question. All we now yeah. need to, all someone needs to do is look for footage and see whether he's put his... If, he, if he's got up to men and done that before when talking to them, then you can say, yeah. If he hasn't, then of course. But as I say, it's, 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 it's a difficult one to know because you don't know what was said. You don't know her feeling towards yeah. it. You don't know their relationship. You don't know if he's done it to other people before. I no, mean, no, even if, but Terry, but yeah. Terry, but even if it's done to other people before, you've got to question Aguero anyway because in the rules it, it must it's stated that you don't touch the officials. So it don't matter if it's male or female in this. If he's done it in the yeah. past before this, you still question him because that's mad. Yeah, no. Again, I'm 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 literally sitting here. I don't say, to say I don't have an opinion on it's really hard. I I don't think you should be touching officials, male or female. <coughs> the bit, the fact she's a woman. Isn't the first thought in my mind, but I get that maybe females yeah. watching this look at it differently. Like, why is a man touching her? I totally get that. I suppose it depends. What about... what's been, like I've said, what's been said, nature of their relationship. Um, you know, they, I I'm not saying he does know. You like some referees know Portal quite well, so maybe he's being overly friendly because he knows her. I don't know. I'm throwing it out there, but yeah, it's uh, it's causing a what stir about... on social media. What about Kyle Walker almost hitting Gabriel and kicking him in the head? Yeah, that's part of the game, though, Miguel. So it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> that um, could have been given. I, I, I want to go back to talk about Van Dyke here for a second. So Virgil Van Dyke um, reports coming out that he's going to be out for seven to eight months with a cruciate knee ligament injury. Aaron, welcome to the show, by the way, mate. H how's that going to impact Liverpool, bro? Losing him for that long? Massively. Um, what is it confirmed that it's seven to eight months? Uh, it was uh, well, <coughs> one of the big broadcasters has said that uh, about f ten minutes ago. Right. They just said it. It's a it's a rumor right now, but they're saying it could be that long. If it's really seven to eight months, pff, you might as well go in, into the market in January because you're going to need some reinforcements. Um, and I'm talking for Liverpool here. I can't see them carry on if it's really true again. Um, I can't see them go a full season playing Matip, Gomez, um, and who's the other centre back that they have? Um, this is what this is what they're saying. This is that's it, bro. Is that they, it? Yes. They've so got you, those two and then the Utes, bro. And Fabinho. Like, and you're, you're not gonna get through the season with, you know, challenging for the title mm. in the Champions League, FA Cup, okay, you can get away with it. League Cup, you can get away with it because you're playing the kids. But ugh, it's gonna be tough, man. It's going to be tough. And already you can see Liverpool without Van Dijk. It's not the same, man. It's not the same. You can easily get through them when they're not playing Van Dijk. So, um, obviously, as a rival fan, I'm loving it because I can't wait to play Liverpool now. Um, I believe our chances increase uh, a bit more yeah. of, of beating them. But, yeah, when you look at it from a Liverpool perspective, obviously, it's, it's a big blow. Um, he's been one of the best players since he's been there. Um, oh. He's always... Yeah, go, sorry. Going, sorry. Going, yeah, he's been one of their best players um, defensively 
every time he's since he's been there really, and every time he's played. So um, yeah, it's a big blow for them. But as a rival fan, I'm loving it. No, no. Now what I want to see from Liverpool fans is apologising to people like Stro, people like Drifty, who was calling out the fact that they need these players, that our players aren't invincible, and these reinforcements to come in, and they got slaughtered by Liverpool fans. But do, do you know they, what it is? They, des- they deserve apologies, fam. Do you know what it is? Stro and Drifty, yeah, and the whole Coppish team, by the way. These guys, they're reasonable fans. They ooh. They're reasonable fans. Do you know what I mean? They they don't support the club with their emotions. They also support the club with their brains. So they know exactly what they're talking about. When they when they all came out and said that, I said, spot on. Because if I was a Liverpool fan, I would have said the same thing. Yes, we got Van Dijk. Pepe's who's really, arguably, sorry, arguably Pepe. the best. Pepe's Sorry? hurt himself here. I just want to see this replay. Pepe goes up for this header. I'll yeah, I'm seeing it now as well. He's going up. Yeah, I'm watching it. Is it head to head or is he on his knee? It's one of them innocuous landing. It doesn't even look like anything, but he's. Ooh. Oh, it's not. It's not a foul, but it might be. Yeah. A it's, it's the extended? way he landed. It's the way he landed. Just as we're talking yeah. about, yeah, he, they're looking at his knee now. Now, I, I agree with you, Aaron. When it when it comes to Van Dyke, it's a massive, uh, massive. He's coming off. Um. Yeah. He yeah. He's off. coming off. Oh that my god. Bad. That looks like Pepe's out. Uh, it looks yeah. Like it could be the same kind of knee injury. When you lose one of your, I was saying to the guys like. Every other position at Liverpool, barring probably Trent and, and Robertson, in, in the midfield and attacking areas, there's other top quality players that can either fill in or to make up that area. When you lose Van Dijk, you can't even go into the market and buy someone as good as him. So yeah. th- th- their title defence now is, honestly, I'm not even trying to be hyperbolic, it's hanging in the balance. It truly is hanging in the balance here because to lo- if they lose him for even four months, look, they've already dropped points in two of their first five games they've conceded with 15, him they've conceded with 15 him, yeah. goals in five games they liverpool football club are in trouble right now and them focusing on var and referees it's a great pr tactic but you, you ain't covering them cracks but baby, that's papering over the cracks you got they've got major problems and they have done let's talk about coppish boys again they is a, okay. they've been t- talking about this for months that liverpool haven't been the same since february facts they haven't been the same since february bruv Mm. No, but don't underestimate the versatility of Fabinho. He could fill into that centre back role. It maybe could be there for Nandinho and play that centre back. Yo, role but policy. that still only leaves them with three centre backs again. Exactly. It's, it's not the issue of do they have the quality of cover. It's they don't have enough cover because Fabinho, if he gets injured, or if Gomez, because Gomez is semi injury prone, we've seen it. They'll be left with one first team centre back. And and automatically when you do that. I've got no doubts that Fabinho can play centre-back. I've got no doubts. But that limits also their, their options in midfield because now Thiago's probably going to have to play that you know CDM role um, because there's a space vacant now in midfield. Fabinho drops. Thiago probably plays CDM, which means Henderson that's, is playing in midfield as well. Well, Henderson's playing. That's the, well, Naby Keita as well. He's, he's quite, I'm not going to say injury-prone, but he struggles with injuries here and there sometimes. So, yeah, it's going to have to be... I think Wijnaldum's going to have to play a lot of games as well this season. Um, yeah. And ultimately, if Wijnaldum plays, that leaves you with who on the bench as options in midfield? James Milner, maybe. Yeah. yeah. There's, um, there's, there's not a lot there. It's, it's, Shaqiri. There's not a lot of options. It's, so. it's threadbare. You're right. And look, yes, you it, can you can put Fabinho in defence. But like I've said, he's nowhere near Van... You're losing the best centre-back in the world. You know, you, it, exactly, there yeah. is no replacing him. In the long term, you can get you can plug yeah. a hole for two or three games, but if they have to go two thirds, three quarters of this season with no Van Dijk, I'm saying it now. They're not retaining their Premier League title. It's just, it's it's, it's yeah. the equivalent of selling him this year. <laughs> like, this this might We're actually not open any up. Calls our way. This oh. is this is this is opening up the league. <laughs> Terry, stop making me laugh. <laughs> this is opening up the league a lot now that we have a weakened Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, for such an extended amount of time, mm. um, it's it's going to be really interesting. Very hey guys, interesting. It is so hard to get Bernardo Silva off that ball, man. Flip Oi, now. man they're, they're calling bubble gum yeah. for a reason. Fam. Yo, no. do you know what? It's so hard to get the ball off that guy, man. Yeah, it's tr- oh. We've got a super chat here from James who says, uh, we need to go back to playing heavy metal football like we did before Virgil van Dijk and Allison. Mm. Why would you do that? That's when you... So this season, 
this season is not the season for heavy metal football, bro. <laughs> bro, it's when, really not. Bro. You know when Liverpool played heavy metal, fo- heavy, metal fo- heavy metal football, they lost more points from losing positions than any other professional team in Europe, including like Leighton Orient's level. So Mad. I don't want to go back to that, bro. It was entertaining, but it was janky, bro. Mm. Um, it really is a lot more responsive to getting here. So a lot of people are saying, like Sophie and the like, she's here. I agree uh, that it was natural for him. Yes, but Defo shouldn't be touching her. To be honest, male or female, officials shouldn't be touched. Um, but it was just odd. And look, I respect Sophie's opinion on that because Sophie is a football yeah. player as well. And it, you are right. He, he probably shouldn't have put his hands on, on the individual. The only thing I would say is I, I just, I'm almost intrigued now to want to see whether he does it as a general matter. If he's just done it to her, then I think action should be taken because why, why yeah. are you doing it to her because she's a woman? Like, but if he does it to all referees, then I think it's just a case of saying... Stop touching referees, mate. Like, just get your hands off them. You know what? Yeah. I, I think I think actions are going to be taken regardless. I think the FA are going to look at this and and or the Premier League or whoever deals with these things, they're going to look at this and probably find him. I think he will Listen. get fine. Yeah. To, but to, you know, do you know just what? To be though, contrary, so, someone's just put loads of pictures together of loads of different football players and referees all touching each other when they're talking in different ways. That's what's going mm. to be hard about it because. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but the thing is, if if those pictures of them conversating and looking like they're on an equal playing field in terms of the discussion they're having, yes. then it's yes. not the same because if you watch the full clip, he he was basically arguing with that's that, with that's it. And that's that's what we were saying earlier. I think that the context of the matter is the most mm. important bit. You have to understand what was being said. Like we don't know what he actually said to her and what she said back. And she might come out afterwards and go, no, no, it's all fine. Mm-hmm. And then it's the case of it's cool. We just don't know. I think speculation is, is what it is. But there we go. Uh, it, it's going to be an interesting...